What up, Hard Squad? Today, I have a very, very special guest. I have Jay Getty, who's the voice of Mewtwo from Pokemon, the first movie. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. How you doing? Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm doing good. I'm doing so happy to be here. If you told my 10-year-old self that I would have the voice of Mewtwo here uh, <laughs> several years later, I would be going crazy. I'm still going crazy. This is such a treat, uh, but thank you well, it's, so it's, much for being here. It's my pleasure and it's, uh, it's, it means a lot to me too. It's, uh, I'm very happy to meet you. So. Well, no, this is, this is a treat. And what I, we'd like to do today is obviously get to know you a bit more, sure, get sure. to know your journey in general. Yeah. And then of course, we got some surprises for y'all. Like, we're gonna be opening up this. That is amazing. This is a box of Topps cards from the first movie that will be opening it up very, very shortly. And while we're kind of going into things, we'll be opening up this. And then the treat also for y'all, cause just having it here is enough. We got some, uh, <laughs> we got some of the original Mewtwo Kids oh. WV cards that you will be signing a bit later on, Dude, but we will get to that very, awesome. very shortly yeah. because uh, I kind of just want to get right into this. Can sure, you kind of sure. just uh, tell me how your journey's been and kind of like how we've gotten to this point, I guess you can say. Yeah. Um, I know that was a very loaded question, <laughs> so feel free to take I, it away as whatever yeah, no, you'd like. This is just fun. <laughs> I, I came into this magical world and I went into an audition. I was uh -huh. trained as a classical actor, I went to Yale Drama School, and a friend who was also auditioning for various things and he said hey there's this thing it's, it's called pokemon and there's a voice that would be really good for you you know with your classical i had just done macbeth at school so there was mewtwo um and i read for the producers and they liked what i was doing and uh, i read a couple other characters it was something i did kind of on the side it was a it was a non-union job i was actually in the union it's mm -hmm. confessing all this now but <laughs> so i had a fake name so i did a pseudonym which is my middle name is philip Ah, I grew up okay. on Bartlett Boulevard, so I became Philip Bartlett. Which ah, is, okay. And then he just kind of disappeared after the movie came out, and eventually they found me. So. Yeah. <laughs> but it was—it's been a, an amazing journey since, and we can talk about that. But um, mm -hmm. just stumbling into the uh, the audition was was kind of fascinating, and I didn't know it would become. So you had no idea had no clue. <laughs> about Mewtwo in the whole no. really Pokemon world. Yeah, and... and they played a little bit of the soundtrack, the Japanese version for us when uh -huh. we were auditioning, but I didn't. I got how important the, the story was, mm -hmm. but I didn't get what he was going to become for me and for the world, really. Wow. Yeah, so. That's really incredible, especially just, you know, going into it and not knowing what it would become now, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. especially your character and yeah. uh, several of the lines and everything from your character. But what's kind of just been kind of uh, getting back to things and kind of like your, you know, what you feel about the community and how it's been so far? Well, that's been amazing. It's, it's been a late, late in coming because I did kind of, um, I did other things. It was a job and I you know, went in, I got the job, did it. It was very quick. It was a day in the studio. And then I kind of said goodbye to it, moved on to the next job. Uh -huh. So here I am years later, I have students that I'm teaching later on at University of Florida mm -hmm. coming up to me saying, hey, I heard you the voice of Mewtwo and Philip Bartlett, what's that about? And um, find out how much it meant to people. Um, uh -huh. But it's really been the last few years when I decided to kind of come out you know, mm -hmm. start talking about it again. I've really seen what it means to people and how important the film is and how I'm a part of that. And that's been thrilling, so. I mean, I have like the VHS right back yeah. there. I got guys, I got like the, a poster in my studio and uh, just having you here. I mean, you got a very, what does your shirt say, by the way? Sometimes you must hurt in order to know, fall in order to grow, lose in order to gain. That's incredible. Yeah. It's like, that's really cool. Yeah, and pain is part of it, um, and that's part of his journey. You know, he's a he's a complex character, much more than you know. I as I see the film again, and again, and what it means to people, you see the levels that he's working. You know, yeah, for people. So, well, before we continue, I do want to quickly start opening up this box, and from there, uh, kind of just keep the conversation going sure. in general. Sure. Of uh, just kind of, oh, there goes the seal. Ooh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. By the way, I uh, we'll see if you know. What we get, I don't even know exactly, That's but because awesome. uh, I haven't opened up this specific style box, but it will, it should be. This is uh, tops, right? This is all. Tops. Yeah, uh huh. That's you right oh, there. <laughs> but we'll see because a lot of these should be like stills from the actual movie. If that was see. another thing, seeing the character, they show me uh, like a quick sketch of what he looked like. Um, oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah, I, I couldn't get around the fact that my voice was going to go to that character. 
<laughs> so what was like the the feeling when you know trying to come up with the voice like the well i think you know he's he's he's, he's here he's all inside of his head yeah so everything is it's internal it's internal monologue so that was something i've done a lot of you know on stage and um, just getting intimate with the audience so that they get a sense of who he is you know? mm -hmm. and there's some personal kind of dialogue where this rumbling underneath everything so yeah and that's especially uh growing up I'll, we'll just say you know of course there's the big line that uh about going through the circumstances sure. of one's birth and uh you know i know that's one of the more popular ones yeah, but yeah. you know just especially getting back now and you've been doing some shows and some yes. conventions and stuff yeah, and meeting what's been people. like the feeling of when meeting some of the fans that come up to you it's amazing it's that's the thing that i didn't know was going to happen with this opportunity mm -hmm. then we come so late in life to have generations now introduce their children to it but to come up to my table and um, just tell me stories about how much it meant to them and what you two meant to them and, and ash and yeah Pikachu and the whole gang yeah and so i'm just very touched by it and i found it very very moving and i'm very proud to be a part of it well, that is. really is incredible <laughs> and you know especially with it being you know last year was the 25th anniversary yeah. of pokemon yeah. and I guess now it's already the 26th anniversary. Time's going by pretty fast, yeah, but uh, and it, I did in barely 2000, uh, 1999, so mm -hmm. it was a long time ago. So oh yeah, many years. How was it when like the movie was? Uh, as we first, if you'd like to take a closer sure. look at a pack, I'll go ahead and start opening up, and we can kind of react to yeah, yeah, yeah. what we get with these uh, these tops packs right here, right, awesome. which came out way back when. But just kind of like the when the movie first came out and kind of like your experience with like you know the reception I actually saw it in Dallas for the first time oh really yeah, I was doing a tour of a play called Cabaret a musical I was uh -huh. a lead in that and I took a bunch of people from the show I said you know six or eight of them I said let's go see this thing I did this voice for this thing and I don't yeah. know if you guys are gonna like it we went to a matinee and everybody had you know kind of the same response but different responses to it but um yeah but we like never would know like what yeah, it would become no, I didn't know I had no idea and That's incredible. I, I had some of this at the beginning, but I didn't have a lot of the collectibles at all. Look at that. There you are. <laughs> Breaking out of the uh, the that, lab tube. That is Consciousness a and congratulations. Wow. That's a really interesting one. Yeah. Oh, it actually tells you more about it. Oh, sure. I'm not going to read Dr. that Dr. whole Fiji? thing. Uh, I don't see him in that specific oh, picture. Okay. These especially. Are incredible. Yeah, so these are. So mostly still shots from the movie. Yeah, we got it's from like Mewtwo Strikes Back as yeah. well, or the very first movie. And then you got Smash? just like the originals, like Squirtle. This is my favorite oh, sure. Pokemon. I don't know. Is I, that I, your I, favorite? Yeah, Squirtle's my oh, favorite. Awesome. Oh, here's a, remember this scene when when Ash was turned to stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at, the, at the very, very end. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That was actually one of the, look at this Pikachu crying. Oh my gosh, yeah. That was definitely one of the more the, uh, People come to the table talking scenes. about that. Oh, they do? They talk about the tears at the end of it. And the, they were moved by his you know, Mewtwo's you know, journey. Kind of getting what you were saying, obviously you did the voice and then I guess took some time off, but then now you're back into it. What's kind of that been uh, kind of like yourself and getting back to know Mewtwo, like how that's been of relating to the like the character? Well, at the time, I don't know if you know Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster. I mean, at yeah. the time I did the, the voiceover, I saw him very much as Frankenstein's monster being created, mm -hmm. not knowing why he's created, angry, furious about that, and trying to figure out his purpose in life. Uh -huh. And as I see that very much a part of the character, but I, his philosophy and the changes he makes and his, his compassion, um, mm -hmm. that's stuff that I can really grab onto, especially this part of my life. Um, that's, that's really awesome. incredible. And so you said, uh, you've gone to some shows. Yes. Are you planning on continuing going to different shows? Or yeah. what's kind of like, what would you like to see? Like, do you just want to continue to meet some of the fans? Or? Yeah, that's been the biggest thing. And, uh, you know, we're trying to temper the show so I'm not out there all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. But I would like to continue to be fans. Um, that's, you know, it's not really about anything but that for me because I have to find joy in that. And I find mm -hmm. um, that's what makes it worthwhile for me. Well, that's really, really cool. Yeah, and it's very touching when people come up and talk about And, you know, uh, especially I've known, like, Veronica Taylor, the original yes. voice of Ash Ketchum, yeah. and it's like, and it. also there's uh, Professor Oak. His name's Stuart Zagnet as oh, well. He was yeah. great. Um, just for, like, as I said before, like, I'm so excited to be able to do videos like this and just to get to, yeah, you know, yeah. meet y'all from my childhood. I hear she's but, amazing. I'll uh, next month. So. 
Oh, the, oh, you, oh really? Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be great. So there you are again, but that's when you're wearing like your like cyber magnet like outfit. Oh sure. That's yeah. trying to like keep them in line, but yeah. it really doesn't. Yeah. And then I can say you, cause you're, you know, you're mute too. That's when you break free from everything. Whoa, what is this one? Oh, I was like, what is this one? I see, I haven't even seen several. These are just random oh, right, right, right. different Pokemon. Oh, look, there's Mew. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice one. Do you know who did the, do you remember who did like, I know it's not revolutionary. The voice, the, the voice of Mew, which is just like I a cat know. basically. Well, in the prequel, the part that was cut out for the American version of how it, the origin story uh -huh. of Mew, I, I actually did Mew and Mewtwo. I did the voice of Baby Mew. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah so. I didn't know that. Uh -huh. yeah, it's in this, they put out the second video. They uh -huh. it. But yeah, that's actually me playing. But I don't know who did the voice. Of the well, speaking of uh, other voices and stuff, can you kind of tell me more about yourself and kind of like you said you've done some theater before or? Yeah, my background was mostly in theater. I trained Ooh. kind of classically as a, as a theater actor and a Shakespearean actor. Um, did some films and some TV. I did all the Law and Orders, which a lot of New York actors do when they get out of school. Uh -huh. um, so I was very much a New York based actor. Um, did a lot of things on Broadway and some musicals and that was my passion you know um, it's mm -hmm. a different kind of lifestyle it's um you're not making the big kind of money as you make in, in film mm -hmm. but um and I got did some voiceover stuff that's kind of how I got into this I did commercials and voiceover stuff and that's great the side. yeah so that's how this all happened so. and uh one of the things that I just I do want just to let people know out there is like you've been so kind and it's been such a treat uh just getting to know you so far oh, that's, uh, that's it, it really has been and obviously i'm going Thank through you. these <laughs> these all these cards right now uh, that one's a bit it, that one's from is that the, yeah i guess that's the movie from when they kind of crashed, really crashed yeah. and then they end up there you are there you are i have to say it like that that's another thing i've you know i've started getting t-shirts and stuff that i never <laughs> oh really just, i'm kind of passionate about the, the stuff now that's become yeah, yeah, yeah and seeing some of this stuff. So. And I also got like the soundtrack as yeah. well, which is really cool. Yeah, you know, there's Mewtwo sneakers, which is kind of cool. There's Mewtwo sneakers? Yeah, they're awesome. They're really beautiful. Oh. So we got right here, before as I finish up those packs, I want to have you, if you like, sign these three Kids WB Mewtwo cards from when the movie first came out. For y'all watching out there, uh, please subscribe to the channel leave a like on this video and just let me know something you're thankful for, something you're very grateful for in the comment section below. And uh, these three will go out. So while I finish opening it, if you can, just take those out of the sleeve and sure, sure. please feel free to sign those any way you'd like. But I guess like what else I'd like to know is just kind of like, what does like for right, right now, like what does the character of Mewtwo kind of just mean to you right now, like in general? Um, I get a lot of hope from the character. I mean, out of a lot of darkness, mm -hmm. even if you don't know where your life's going, even if you don't understand why is this happening to me? Mm -hmm. Why am I angry? Why, why do these people, you know, why do I feel isolated? You know, he, he comes to a place at the end of the first film where he, and the other films too, but he, he understands that there was a purpose to his life. He was created not just to destroy, mm -hmm. but he was created to have some wisdom and he takes care of the other Pokemon, which is kind of amazing. That's great. You know, so I just think the journey of kind of self-discovery and- um, Self-discovery, yeah, I like that. There's a certain kind of serenity and peace that he finds, which I think is fascinating. So, And that's kind of been my journey, you know, my life mm -hmm. has been, it's a very interesting career. Um, uh -huh. But it's, it's you know, it's, it's up down as an actor. So mm -hmm. it's been kind of my journey to kind of understand and appreciate where I'm at with my life and, mm -hmm. and just be a lot more spiritual about it. So I think that's you great. That. Yeah, so. Oh no, that was really good. Thank you so much for sharing sure, that sure. with us. Uh, so you're signing those while I'm going through these. Uh, I will say for people watching out there, I did pull, if I can find it, I think there was like a rare Charizard card that I had pulled and I can't really find it. Oh, I don't really? know if it's too valuable or anything. It's somewhere in this mess of cards, <laughs> but uh, it's a special type of cut of card and is that it? Oh, very cool. We'll show those very shortly. Y'all be patient out there. But <laughs> got just a couple more packs. And while uh, you're kind of signing those. Um, I'm putting them back in the sleeve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry a little bit here. Oh yeah, 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 if you wanna leave them out of the sleeve, that's completely yeah. fine too. So let me just go ahead and show this one real quick for everybody out there. So there we go. Very, very nice. 
That's so cool to have. Yeah, the Whoops, oh, there it goes. So there's that one. I'm trying to be gentle. And I do sign both I names. I sign Jake Eddie and Philip Barclays. That's great. So yeah, this is gonna go out to uh, a few of y'all out there. Um, if you have some time to do a type of Q and A session uh, on our sure. platform on well, Discord sometime, don't know exactly when it's gonna be, but I think this would just be perhaps a chance for the you know you to get to know the community and the community to get to know you yeah. a bit more than just on like what we've talked about so far on you know, today's it's, video. It's always amazing what what people bring up and the questions people have sometimes from left field and oh that makes a lot of sense yeah like, cool. just stuff like you haven't thought yeah, about yeah that i haven't thought about right but um, no i'd love to do that that would be awesome i'd that, appreciate that sure. um as we pull a charizard very nice oh, awesome it's oh, a shiny cool. one i don't know if it's worth anything but it's just really cool oh my gosh uh but so, guys if you'd like to check that out uh please check out the rare candy discord there will be a link in the description below uh join the rare candy discord and very soon we'll have jay voice of Mewtwo, do a little AMA or a Q&A for people out there. And I'm extremely grateful for that. So would love to see y'all join uh, the Rare Kenny Discord. And Jay, of course, would, thank you so much for I'll that. Be so we have one more pack. I almost feel like I should, you know what? I'm gonna keep this pack sealed. This is gonna be for myself <laughs> and have you sign the pack. Oh, awesome. <laughs> or if you want, That's awesome. if you, I mean, would you like to have this pack? I, sure, I'd love to have. I mean, then, I won a long time ago. But then, then I'm gonna give this to you then. Really? Oh my gosh, sure. So a, a sealed pack oh of. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. There you go. So that's for you. I'm sorry oh, to keep on interrupting you there, <laughs> but uh, thank you. That's no, you. absolutely. So, so is this the? Yeah, I think they're. Let me show y'all this one. Very, very cool. Well, thank you so much for so signing both of those. My uh, pleasure. I have something for you, actually. Oh, I trained really? as an artist originally, and I teach me drone on YouTube. No way! Yeah, this is something for you. Oh, thank you yeah, so much. That's incredible. Human, so I'll sign that for you. And I'm gonna have to make some room. I don't know for in, in my new studio that I'm doing. I'm absolutely. That's incredible. Oh, so how you, do you still you. keep up with uh, to, like trying to draw as often? Yeah, I, you know, I just started drawing him again in the last few years. So um, I bring them to the shows. Sometimes people, original fan art. It's kind of fun. It's That's really so cool. Yeah, so thank you so much for you're that. You're welcome. Thank you. I would say that I could draw, but not as even <laughs> close to as good as that. But <laughs> thank no, thank you so I'm much for that. For you. Are you going to sign it? Yeah. Very cool. Right. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right. Let's hold it up. Let's see it. Well, there we go. Julian Hart, a fabulous human being. Oh, uh, yeah. well, I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Before we head out, though, uh, is there anything else that you just like to bring up or say to the say to the world right now? I really do I appreciate. I would just this. like to thank fans for coming up to me at the tables and, and reaching out to me online and, and finding me. You know, the mm -hmm. figuring out the whole Jenny Getty Philip Arthur thing and somebody several years ago on Facebook. But uh -huh. it's just been a joy to meet you. It's been an honor, and um, I'm very proud of the fact that I'm a part of. Pokemon and YouTube, and um, I'm very touched by the stories that people have to tell and their their emotional connection to it. And I understand that as as a powerful thing. You know? Absolutely. Well, Jay, this has been this has been an absolute <laughs> treat. If you do have any uh, socials for yourself that you want people to go check out, I'll put those in the description. But sure, in the meantime, sure. Jay, this has been an absolute yeah, treat. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can always reach me on my Instagram. So. Oh, perfect. We'll yeah. put that in the description then. Yep. Stay Thank awesome, you. stay positive, everybody. My name is Leonard. This is Jay. <laughs> and we will see y'all in the next video.